On the customization mode screen, choose OS settings. Now this setting affects the relationship between the optical stabilization and the image that I see in my viewfinder. And it's a very good setting to adjust before you head out on a shoot, depending on the conditions that you might encounter. For example, if I'm shooting models, I will often be moving the camera around quite a lot and adjusting frame and looking for different angles. And this can adversely affect the image that I see in my viewfinder. Now, rather than turn down the optical stabilization, I can actually smooth out what I see in my viewfinder with the OS settings. So let's give it a try. As before, we click on customization and then customization mode settings. And here we can select C1 or C2. Let's choose C1 this time. Then we click on OS settings. You have three modes to choose from, dynamic view mode, standard, and moderate view mode. Dynamic view mode brings a recognizable OS effect to the image in the viewfinder. Images tend to stick in place and remain stable. On the other hand, moderate mode causes the image in the viewfinder to be more natural. In the center is standard, which is the default setting. So you select the setting you need based on the anticipated situation. I'm going to select moderate mode for photographing models with lots of different compositions. I click OK, and this takes us back to the previous screen, and I click on Rewriting. After rewriting is complete, the new OS setting is ready to use on the C1 button. So that's the end of our tutorial. Easy, wasn't it? The lens makes the photograph, which is why I use Sigma, and now, with the Sigma Optimization Pro software and the Sigma USB dock, you too can have the power to take a wider range of photographs that are truly yours.